Let's take a look here at S3 bucket policies, which to me is one of the most important uh, security features other than block public access that you need to know uh, as you're gonna be using it quite a bit uh, whenever you want to give people access to your bucket. So S3 bucket policy is a resource-based policy to grant an S3 bucket and bucket objects to other principles, such as another AWS account, users, AWS services. We said before uh, that uh, ACLs is the old way of doing it. And so something like a bucket policy is a lot more robust way. And that's the recommended way I would suggest for you to do it. Um, the idea is that it looks just like an IAM policy. Uh, it's very similar, except that it will, it it will specify the principle. Uh, and so for this example, we're saying only allow a specific role to read objects with the prod object tag. So if we go over here, take a look, we're saying allow the ability to read an object or an object version. And it's only gonna be for this role on this AWS account. Um, and it's gonna be for this bucket, everything in the bucket, cause it has an asterisk. So that means everything. And the other thing is that they have to have an existing object tag that's going to equal prod. So uh, a few things there. I believe the object tag, tag would be called environment, right? So we, I think we talked about object tags have to, um, well, anyway, we'll talk about object tags later. But anyway, let's look at another example. So this is restricting access to a specific IP. So we are saying deny uh, to anybody that is uh, trying to use any S3 action for uh, the bucket or any of the objects in the bucket. Sometimes you see both uh, these in the policies. And then we're saying for this particular IPv4 address or IPv4 address range, uh, since it's not 32, it says 24. So that's multiple IP addresses. Uh, uh, there, I believe. Anyway, so there you go.